Hello, grammar for today is all about pronouns. What are pronouns? They are words that replace with noun and noun phrase. There are four types of pronouns. Number one, interrogative pronouns. Number two, indefinite pronouns. Number three, reflexive pronouns. Number four, personal pronouns. Interrogative pronouns. What is an interrogative pronoun? An interrogative pronoun is a pronoun which is used to make asking questions easy. There are just five interrogative pronouns. Each one is used to ask a very specific question or indirect question. Some, such as who and whom, refer only to people. Others can be used to refer to objects or people. Once you are familiar with interrogative pronouns, you will find that it is very easy to use them in a variety of situations. The five interrogative pronouns what, which, who, whom, whose. Number one, what, used to ask questions about people or objects. Example, what do you want for lunch? Number two, which used to ask questions about people or objects example which color do you prefer number three who used to ask questions about people example who is that number four whom this interrogative pronoun is rarely seen these days but when it shows up it is used to ask questions about people example who did you speak to? The next, whose, used to ask questions about people or objects, always related to position. Example, whose hat is this? Indefinite pronouns. An indefinite pronoun is a pronoun that refers to non-specific beings, objects, or places. Indefinite pronouns can represent either count nouns or non-count nouns, such as anybody, everybody, nobody, somebody, anyone, everyone, no one, someone, anything, everything, nothing, something. We use indefinite pronouns to refer to people or things without saying exactly who or what they are. We use pronouns ending in body or one for people and pronouns ending in thing for things. We use a singular verb after an infinitive pronoun. Everybody loves English. Everything was ready for me to study. Be careful, in negative clauses we use pronouns with no, not pronouns with any. Nobody went to the party, not anybody didn't go to the party. We do not use another negative in a clause with nobody, no one or nothing. Nobody went, not nobody didn't go. We can add apostrophe s to an indefinite pronoun to make a possessive. Examples They were looking for somebody's house. Is this anybody's key? We use else after indefinite pronouns to refer to other people or things. Example All the family came but no one else. Here you can find singular, plural, both singular and plural indefinite pronouns. Singular indefinite pronoun, other, nothing, no one, neither, much, another, anyone, anything, each, either, enough, everyone, everything, less, little one, someone, something. Examples, less is more, enough is enough, either one will be fine, much has happened since we met. Plural indefinite pronouns, both, few, fewer, many, 
others, several examples, both are black, fewer are happy these days, several phone calls I had yesterday, both, all, any, many, most, none, some, such, examples, more is better, more were ignored, most will get angry, most was angry, here is some, we showed them some, such as life, such were the joys. Reflexive pronouns Reflexive pronouns are words like myself, yourself, himself, herself, itself, ourselves, yourselves, and themselves. They refer back to person or thing. We often use reflexive pronouns when the subject and the object of a verb are the same. Examples I cut myself when I was making lunch last day. I hope you enjoy yourselves at the birthday party. My phone isn't working properly. It turns itself off for no reason. We need to believe in ourselves more. Adding emphasis. We can add a reflexive pronoun for emphasis when it's unusual or different. Examples, he wants to pass his driving test so that he can drive himself to work. She broke her arm so she couldn't wash herself very easily. We can use reflexive pronouns to emphasize that someone does it personally, not anybody else. The door was definitely locked. I locked it myself. We can also use a reflexive pronoun together with the noun it refers to in order to emphasize it. Example, we talked to the manager herself and she agreed to give us our money back. By plus reflexive pronoun. We can use by plus reflexive pronoun to mean alone. Example, she usually goes on vacation by herself. Reciprocal pronouns. Notice the difference between plural reflexive pronoun and reciprocal pronouns like each other, one another, they're buying themselves a new car, they're buying each other a small souvenir, we looked at ourselves in the mirror, we looked at each other in surprise. With reciprocal pronouns like each other, each person does the action to the other person or people, but not to themselves. Personal pronouns We have both subject pronouns and object pronouns. Subject pronouns I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they, Object pronouns, me, you, him, her, it, us, you, them. We use subject pronouns as a subject of a verb. Examples, I like your shirt, you are on time, he is my classmate, it is snowy, she is on vacation, we live in the US, they come from Canada. We use object pronouns as the object of a verb. Can you help me please? I can see you. She doesn't like him. I saw her in town today. We saw them in town yesterday, but they didn't see us. Object pronouns after prepositions. Examples. She is waiting for me. I'll get it for you. Give it to him. Why are you looking at her? Don't take it from us. I'll speak to them. He, she, and they. We use he, him to refer to men and she, her to refer to women. 
When we are not sure if we are talking about a man or a woman, we use they or them. This is Adam. He is my uncle. I don't think you have met him. This is Tess. She is my aunt. Have you met her before? You should see doctors. They might help you. Talk to your colleagues. Ask them to help you. You, they, and them. We use you to talk about people in general, including the speaker and hearer. Examples. You can buy this pencil everywhere. This pencil is on sale everywhere. You can park here. Parking is not allowed here. We use they, them to talk about institutions and organizations. They serve good food here. They means here the restaurant. Ask them for a cheaper ticket. Them here means the airline, especially the government and the authorities. They don't let you smoke in here. They are going to increase taxes. They are building a new motorway. They say it's going to rain tomorrow. It number one, we use it to talk about ourselves on the telephone. Hello, it is Ben. Number two, when other people cannot see us, it's me, it's Kate. Kate is knocking on the door. Number three, we also use it to talk about other people. Look, it is John Elton. Number four, when we point people out for the first time, who's that? I think it is John's brother. Number five, when we cannot see someone and we ask them for their name. Hello, who is it? Someone answering the phone. Who is it? Someone about to answer the door. Quick recap of what we have done today. We work on interrogative pronouns, indefinite pronouns, reflective pronouns, personal pronouns, their usage, and their positions. Thank you for watching.